Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Ravida. We have got some kind of super cool sword to start our run with, which is pretty nice. Uh, we'll pop on in, and uh, hopefully we will... I mean, I don't know. Do I want to win? Is the... I know yesterday I was like, ah, oh, yeah, we'll win. I kind of like the uh, idea of the, the sweeten... The sweetness staying, you know? But alas, it seems like there may be some kind of challenge uh, after... Okay, we will check every time now. Uh, but what do we start with? Ooh. Ooh. Upon defeating three enemies without getting hit, summons a sword that deals 300% damage. Huh. Okay. Okay. Does not theoretically help us on bosses. We also unlock some kind of uh, the combo meter thing up there and we also have a little bit of way to generate souls i think so we want to be careful about the order in which we okay so it does the equivalent of like three bullets all right not bad not bad not bad not bad is that little uh, triangle thing around me that is our sword indicator we also have four heart containers why do we have four heart we always start with four i thought we start with three i think i'm crazy i think we always start with four I think I'm just used to games making you start with, uh, whoop, start with three. That's like the, the norm. But we also, we do not have a range up that we, uh, had last time. Oh, starting out with the damage up. Don't mind if I do. Gotta keep on moving, though, since we do have that combo meter. Which, I, I don't know what it does. Wait. Oh, so those, those three things around us were the, uh, those are the markers. We, we can get up to three. Oh, my God. Another damage up right now. That is so good. The timing on it. Sublime. Sublime. In we shall go. I mean, you know what? We could save... Nah, not really. I was going to say we could save up our, um, our shot. Wait. So this is the offering room? Is this not the offering room? I thought that this is where... I guess this is not the offering room. I'm confused. Let's get stupid. This better be good. <laughs> Increase your damage up by 50% when you're low on HP. Boy, howdy, I am. Boy, am I ever. We might just throw this right away. I mean, but, you know, that's the fun of it, right? If we can get, a like, a, just a kill or so, we'll, we'll be AOA okay. We should be doing, like, absurdly good damage. Though I am very terrified, so I'm, like, playing a wee bit babyish to make sure that we can uh, we can restore there. Low on HP means one heart only? Oh, God, that's not worth it. Like, if we could get a setup like we had yesterday and we have shields and then also low HP, I could see how that item could be very good then. Like, I'm finding more reasons why that, that one item that uh, converted our HP into shields definitely can be more useful. Like, it makes sense in something like uh, like Isaac, you know, with the deal with the devil and everything. There's, like, a lot of reasons why it doesn't really matter if you're low on HP if you have a lot of shields. This could be the same sort of idea. Hmm. If I can trade half a heart for a shield, I would be very for it. What is this, though? Extra shields at the start of each area. No. See, look at that. Oh, look at that. We get the 50% damage up, but we are protected. See, that right there, that right there is exactly what it's all about, baby. That's a good combo. That is a combo of wombo proportions. Oh, my God. Our damage is so good. So good. All right. Well, I like it. Uh, the thing is, yeah, we get, uh, we get extra HP, then we're kind of in like a weird spot. We can just save up our, our healing for now. That's the question. It's like, do I want to heal? The answer is like a weird probable no. If we lose our shield, I think we'll heal. Another, uh, oh, another key. If you, uh, okay. We can happily do something like this. If there is, uh, okay, no. There's an HP trade there. That's kind of what we're going to probably save this stuff for, is doing big old HP trades. Other than that, like I think we, I think we stay on half a heart for now. Oh, we shred. Oh, we shred that. Like, cause yeah, now three hundred percent of our damage is really high. Really high. 
All right, all right. I will happily trade a heart right now. Okay, let's learn. We, we, it's not going to kill us. We have a shield. Right? Like, okay. What is this now? Increases fire rates for each room cleared without taking damage. Woo, Nelly. I'm for it. All right, but we can, yeah, we can have a heart. We can have a heart. Oh boy. We are, uh, we are stacked though. Oh my God, we are stacked. Does this count as a room? Did that take advantage? I assume no. I assume no. All right. I'm in love with this run. We are blitzing this place. Absolutely blitzing it. Is this the offering? I, yeah, I don't know. I could have sworn we got to... Is it just a chance for there to be that soul thing in our offering room? I'm not sure. All right, our game is awesome. Okay. Yeah, I know we should be uh, we should be doing a little bit more dashing to handle this stuff. There, I know we should. What's on right click? I feel like I want to make my dash into right click. I'm just so used to that, you know. Oh, look at all that free damage. So far, so fine. Oh, I actually was not expect expecting that to be a slam. I thought that was going to be the one where he actually just, yeah, did this. Oh, the distance. We could be crazy and try and get up there, do some extra freebie hits. I, I don't think it's a good idea. So I, I feel like I'll just get myself stuck on the wall and we'll be sad. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy, we do so much damage. So much damage. Oh, 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 oh. What are we at? We're at 100% bonus damage right now. We are at 100% bonus damage. And we're just going to be getting more attack speed. Like, that's going to synergize so well with our raw damage increase, too. Oh, man. Like, and the sword being a, a 3x multiplier. Oh, my God. Oh my god. So good. Oh, Let me have a look at that. Uh, what is the upgrade? 400% damage on that. Extra 75%. Alright. Pretty darn good. I always. I, why do I always go back there? I always. Every time, I always go back there. Hmm. I guess it's because there's like the game is so frequently about returning returning to doorways via the elevator, you know? Alright. Gotta check, gotta check. Boy, I hope we can get more shields. That would make me feel so much more comfortable. I really want to get that item that we had yesterday that we didn't know if it was gonna be that good. That converted our, our HP straight up into shields there. Our range is not great. That's really a concern for sure. Sword is an insta-kill on that man. I'm just, I'm going to wait. Like, I don't need the healing that bad. Because we get extra attack speed if we clear this without taking damage. So, it's really important that we clear it without taking damage. I think there's something inherent about uh, the fact that you start in the same spot that you end that makes it so you traverse the room less. Even if, like, you know, the, the door doesn't open until the... Oh, my God. Until the end of the room. There's something about it, you know? you just like, I kind of just want to... St I, I stay back there. It, it does not uh, encourage moving to the other side of the room, which is, which is funny because... Why would you want to move to the other side of the room anyways? <laughs> Normally? I feel like, yeah, the, as much as it's uh, spooky, woo, God, we do so much damage. 
as much as it's spooky, I think having the door spawn closer in the middle of the room more often is maybe the way to go. As tough as it could end up being. Oh, blessed be! Please let me trade some health very, very soon. Hey. Do we get silly? Why not, man? What do you got for me? Is it cursed? I don't want that. I don't want to heal. <laughs> Why would I want to heal? Also, the corruption on top of it could really be... Uh, it could be run-ruining. It genuinely could be run-ruining. That is a, a no-take from me right now. Sword blast him. Oh my god, it's brutal. It's just a massacre. An absolute massacre. I do want to heal up to... I just, like, I don't want to see him... Uh, he looks like, look at that animation. He just, I want to fix him. I want to fix my boy. My Ravita boy. These items are just disgusting. Look at that. Oh, these items are just disgusting. And it's just going to get better and better because, uh, like, the strength will beget us more strength. This is going to be a speed run, baby. Ooh, you, yeah, you have a chance to have hit me. Okay. Got ourselves charged up for an insta-kill on the next. Uh, do we have a key? We do have a key. Ooh, what happens here? I said. Now we know. Now we know. I've always been confused because it's like said that we could offer. Gotcha now. Gotcha now. Gotcha now. Oh, I hope the shop has another shield for half a heart. I love that trade right now. Such a good trade right now. So hot right now. Acid about. We're just going to go. Item unlock potential on item unlock potential. Armor. How many rooms do we have left? Every eight rooms? Every few rooms. Every eight rooms. That's a lot. It's not that it's a bad item. It's just, it's. I think it's too late. That's like one shield, isn't it? I guess that's inherently not necessarily a bad trade either, though. For us right now. I'll do it, I guess. Also, he's cute. Maybe he blocks bullets. Eight, eight is a lot. Like, it might be worth upgrading. One, two, three. Yeah, I'm just... I don't know. I'm regretting it. I, I feel like that's just... Because it's going to give us one shield, which is good for us in our current scenario, and that's the only reason I would do it. I would not do this on a normal run. But this is no normal run. Regular chest, please? Or just a, just a free key? We are not running out of keys whatsoever. I'm with it. I'm a little concerned about this boss, though. Because he definitely was doing some attacks that I, uh... Did not know how to process the telegraphs for. Is how I will phrase it. Alright. We got a secret room. Floaty balloon. Floaty balloon. We could take a lot of time, like, you know, analyze all those unlocks, but we're, I think it's going to be more exciting to see them when we uh, can actually see the picture for them. So we'll cross those the bridge of excitement when uh, when we unlock them. Yeah, I, I've got some concerns on this boss. Uh, I think that we could take some damage. Oh, that's that was nice. Did that damage stick? The damage did stick. What? That's not good. That's not a good enough telegraph. I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm sorry. It's not a good enough telegraph. I got bopped. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. We might have a chance. This is a, this is a lot of free time here, but he's going to go underground and then we're going to get killed. Okay. All right, we're good. We're, we're alive. Boy, that was terrifying in every capacity. Yike. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Two shields. Shield fairy. <laughs> Shield fairy is going on unemployment. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, what could we up... Like, what does the upgrade for Shield fairy turn to? If it's every, like, four rooms... That could be kind of spicy. That could be kind of spicy indeed. If it's every, like, six, uh, it's probably not worth the, to do. <laughs> no. It ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. So these cost two to upgrade right now. This does 400% of da damage. I don't know that I necessarily need that. None of these upgrades are that exciting to me. Uh, for right now. I would rather have the ability to potentially sacrifice for a... I did it again. Every time. That's... Hmm. Hmm. What am I doing? I... But... I, I think I'd probably rather have the ability to sacrifice 2 HP in the event that we can manage that. Yeah, I feel like 8, eight rooms is... For, for the length of the game right now, 8 rooms feels like it's kind of a weak item. For one single shield. At the very least, like... At the very least, maybe if the upgrade dropped it down like a lot. Feels a little... Feels a little on the weaker side, theoretically. We'll have to see in practice, of course. All these things, it's just guesses. I'm definitely scared of being here whoop, without our range up. The last time we were here, we had that range up, and it was uh, definitely going to make things easier for us. Damage up, don't mind if I do. I also do not mind getting ourselves back up to uh, one heart. What I'm going to claim is full HP for us at the moment. All right. Okay, yeah, we spawn in the middle. Definitely a spookier, uh, a spookier spawn. Oh my god. The ice. The ice almost got us good there. Alright, this guy's not too bad. Not too bad. I just realized, does our attack speed reset when we do get hit? I've always been of the mind that it's just like going to be permanently stacking up as we get more and more. I realize now that that may not be the case. I'm watching you. Okay. Good enough for me. This guy's concerning. Where's my sword at? Okay, this is fine. We can actually dance right in through there. We'll just let him come a little bit closer to me. Why risk the biscuit, you know? There's a dang spike above us, even, you know? All right. One HP sacrifice? I would do it. Bop, 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 bop. Shield pickups are doubled, and you get one shield. Hey, Macarena! Let's do it. Shield fly, you are back in, <laughs> back in a job right here. Ooh, boy. We do not have health to sacrifice, though. Okay, so I was just like, I was wondering if you offered zero hearts if you actually like got cursed or something. <laughs> that would, I, I wouldn't know. I, I probably wouldn't want that, you know. But certainly it'd be interesting. Oh, I love seeing that uh, that sword go off at the beginning of a room. That's so ideal. It's like the number one time for that to go off. It's like pop a room before you even start it. Oh, baby! Oh my god, we are. Guys, I think we might win today. I think we might win today because this build was already working so well. We already got like a dream combo of stuff. And then we got the shield doubler? I don't know. That might have been, uh, if I'm mathing correctly, that might have been the drop from our shield fly. It, do, it didn't do anything to let us know, but just... Uh, 
judging based off of how long it's been. I hope I'm wrong, because then we get an extra shield, and by that I mean extra two shields. And I would be all about that. We do actually have a heal that we can do to put ourselves at the one HP. I'm really curious what happens with HP sacrificing at zero. Because one would imagine that it just doesn't do anything. Wait, did we lose two shields? No. Oh, I thought that would hit the enemies too. That's the first hit in a while. Okay, I guess we just go while they're in between attacks there. Shield, or shield, what? Chest? Hey, it's just a damage up. Let's go. Let's go. Boy, we blitzing. Okay, we should not do that yet. Lest we get slowly bopped by the king flies approaching us. Okay. Good room traversal. Whoop. Okay. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Give me a shield. Oh my god! It's just that easy! This shield doubler item is so good. God, I wish that there was an extra floor so that uh, we could take advantage of how OP we are. Okay, so those guys are hidden within the ice blocks. They explode. That's a cool enemy. That's a really cool enemy. Oh, we have a secret up there. Yeah, let's just remember. We use the old noggin and do a remember. Damage up. Nice. So what are we at? 173% damage up. What could possibly go wrong? Crouch. If we stand in front of it for a certain amount of time. What's that sound? It went. Has that always been going on? There's some. Is nothing happening? There's some kind of, like, hidden text down there. Is that what that is? I'm confused. I feel like it, it may just be a placeholder, or it could be a secret. It could be either one. I could see both being very valid things. Okay, watch out for the blast. Good. Oh! I always, that's one thing that I always get tripped up by. I feel like the downward momentum from your bullets while you're jumping, I feel like the momentum penalty should be, I know it, it's kind of weird. It doesn't play as clean with the other physics to think of it like this way, but cause like, yeah, if you shoot downwards, it should shoot you up higher. Yes. But when you're shooting, when you're trying to jump and you're shooting upwards, it feels like I, uh, I run into a lot of issues with that. From, from a game feels perspective. Like, I feel like it's such a weird niche thing to say. I So dash, dash speed. So dash speed. What is dash speed really? I'm actually going to save it. Like, I would imagine it's the, literally just the speed of the actual dash itself. Right? Right? Oh, God. No. Nope, 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 nope. We're not going to take it just in case we get that AoE that kills us instantly again, basically. I have, I've got concern. But boy, we do damage. Oh. Wait, what? I don't get that. You're supposed to, we have to wall jump. Oh, oh, the ice. We're dead. 
We know what attack is going to be coming, though, right? Uh-oh. Okay, so it always does an AoE. Uh, this is... this. Every other part of the game is, like, not that hard. This boss is... Tests a lot. Holy moly. Nothing else is really that hard, though. And then all of a sudden, power spike. Holy moly, that is much tougher than the rest of the game. Yike. I mean, that's fine. Good. That gives me something to uh, to have to to work at defeating. For sure. But, but wow, wow, wow. For someone so small, you move very slowly. It's infuriating. Little cult die, acid vial. Hmm. I'll get one of these. I'll get that boy. And then we'll, let's uh, let's go back and uh, we'll take a look at some of this other stuff up here. Yeah, so you need to wall jump in that fight. And unfortunately, yeah, the wall jumping is the one thing that I just feel like I can't... Can't get right. That's the one thing that I just I just can't get it right. It doesn't... I don't... Uh, I'm not speaking its language yet. Are those new blueprints you have? Neat. Oh, we do have new blueprints? Uh, recycle. Allows you to recycle the relics and pickups into souls by shooting them. Oh, I think I already have that. Uh, okay, so... Soul torches will now spawn in the area's offering room, giving you souls when shot. Did I miss it? Was it there? A new room sparking with celestial energy challenge room are you re ready to face mother's challenge with adventures okay these are all cos cosmetics that, that's what that little symbol means there i do believe uh sparking with celestial energy or i mean fine let's uh, let's unlock a challenge room let's unlock a challenge room and then we probably don't have or is it six was is the lowest i told you you ignored me they always ignore me Look, child, another flower. Aren't they lovely? And for you, a gift. What do we get here? Prison key. We got uh, hot chocolate. Oh, that's nice. Checking in. How's my tree doing? So we got uh, die and return five times. I see. I see. I see. It's one of those. Uh, make it through an entire boss fight on low health without focusing like a king. Gazing Grove, do it without taking a hit. So then I'm guessing Sewer Dweller, or whatever, uh, Child of the Sewer, <laughs> or, you know, whatever. The, this version for that, then the Ice Place, and then that, that version for the Ice Place. I mean, we will uh, we will definitely keep at it, of course, but uh, we got to practice the wall jumps. See, that's, the, that's what it is, is... I'm trying to wall jump, but you have to, like, you have to actually full-on slide on the wall for a second. And, and the, the conversion sometimes from the jump into the slide sometimes takes a, a little too long. But can you shoot when you're on the wall? You can, you can shoot when you're on the wall. So, yeah, I don't know why... See what I'm saying? Like, it, t it just takes half a second, but when you're trying to move quick, half a second is uh, is too much. So that's why that boss is feeling so rough to me right now. We we'll just have to keep it in mind that, that we need to actually, like, hold against the wall for half a second before we're allowed to wall jump. And then I think we'll probably be able to be okay on that boss. Whether or not that should be changed, who knows? I'm not going to be the one. The one I'm not going to say that it needs to, the wall jumping needs to snap half that half second quicker. Uh... But that's that's what I'm noticing. That's why I think I'm having so much difficulty with the wall jumping mechanic. Hot chocolate is so expensive. Why? It must be good, right? Okay, so we can get something cheap. Should we just buy a map? Bursting Soul, Slime Ball. Let's get Bursting Soul. Uh, it's been unlocked. All right. Bada bow. Bada bow. Boom, 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 boom. But alas, alas. That is going to do it here for today. 
I think, I mean, I think we're really just like one day away from our, like an, a, a victory here. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I mean, that, truly, like, I think I can probably make it to the last boss every time, is my guess, right now. Unless we take a really stupid risk, I think, or get a major curse. I think we could probably make it to that last boss, or what I think is the last boss of the early access, uh, every, every time. Whether or not we can beat him, though, that's the real question. We need to save everything in our arsenal to get up to that point. It's kind of, you know, which, which is not necessarily a problem. I, I kind of, you know, if you make him easier, then... Uh, you know, <laughs> like that's that could get scary. Uh, with could get really easy. Uh, you know, if it's if there's no real difficulty at the end there, you want the final boss to be difficult. And since it's early access, he's taking the place of the final boss. He's this game's Hades. You know, like if you think about Hades, a lot of the, that game is, or at the very least, while you're grinding the uh, the meta progression of it, it is. Uh, the difficulty spikes massively at the final boss, and it's supposed to be where you hopefully have been building up enough resources like HP and damage and everything but, uh, by the time you get there so that you can take him down. And that's just a, that's just a choice of uh, of balance. It's not, it's not a... Uh, I don't think it's anything that could be decided as objectively good or bad. I think that's just a choice. And maybe that's what the choice is. Maybe the... But, uh, yeah, it definitely feels like a difficulty spike for sure. Or maybe I just suck at wall jumping. Or maybe the wall jumping, maybe the children are wrong. That's that's my biggest thing I'm noticing right now. I feel like... Like, I feel like jump, 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 jump. I feel like I should be able to, but I can't quite. Uh, that, you know... But maybe we'll just get used to it. That's the other thing. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll just get used to it and it won't even matter. But alas, that is that and that is going to do it for today. We will probably see a victory tomorrow if I were to take a random shot in the dark. As we are making the game easier, slightly easier with metal progression over time. Thank you for watching, though. Thank you, thank you. Check out the channel for Roguelike some more every single day. Make sure you pick up the game with the link at the top of the description. It is fantastic, and it's only going to get better. Thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye!